We have a tremendous story here from Huffington Post that really lays bare just how corrupt Congress is. They say the House voted 234 to 188 Thursday to undo a rule proposed by the Labor Department earlier this month that would require anyone getting paid to provide retirement investment advice to act in the best interest of retirees. Many people think that's already how things work, but it isn't. The way things work right now is that brokers who oversee retirement savings accounts can uh, be paid extra to steer their clients into unnecessarily expensive funds or excessively risky investments without disclosing the fact to their clients. That sort of uh, conflicted investment advice costs Americans uh, saving for retirement $17 billion a year. Okay, I need everybody to understand how profoundly ridiculous this system is that we have right now. What they're saying is, it is perfectly legal for you to go to an investor on Wall Street and for them to lie to you. We've legalized fraud. That's what this is. So you go to somebody who's supposed to be a financial expert who's going to help you with your investments, and they say, no, 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 okay, stop. Look, I'm the expert, and let me help you out here. What you really need to do is take your money and you need to put it into, uh, you know, this kind of an investment package. And when you do that, you have the potential of, you know, 11% returns over X amount of time and you're going to make the most money. You have the most potential upside if you go over here and they pitch it to you as if, look, this is the best investment you can make, man. This is safe. This is going to get you returns. And, you know, hey, I'm the expert and who am I to tell you, but this is the way to go. Now... Again, the client obviously is going to think, well, you know, by law, they can't lie to me. They can't do fraud. They're, they're just going to give me the best advice and how, it, you know, whatever can help me because that's their job. Their job is to give me investment advice. But no, it turns out that uh, these financial experts are allowed to cut deals behind the scenes. And for example, they might get more money if they steer you into doing certain kinds of investments. So they might push you in the direction of doing those investments regardless of whether or not those are safe investments for you or good investments for you or risky or not risky. And they don't have to disclose that they indeed have a financial incentive to push you in a direction that may not be the best direction for you and your money. We've legalized lying and fraud as long as that lying and fraud is done by a dude who makes a lot of money wearing a suit and a tie and is working for a financial institution or is working on Wall Street. Okay, this is just the perfect encapsulation, the embodiment. This is quintessential establishment politics 101. This is how the system works now. You have so many lobbyists, you have so many uh, financial interests, you have so many people on Wall Street, so many billionaires, so many corporations who just dump gargantuan amounts of money into the campaign coffers of various politicians. So they make laws that are just biased in favor of the people who gave them the money. Of course, that's human nature. You're going to like the person who gives you a shitload of money. So they allow them to get away with whatever they want to get away with. And then when the idea is brought up by uh, the Labor Department, and when you have President Obama and some Democrats doing the right thing here, which, by the way, is still kind of rare because even they are biased in favor of Wall Street in many respects because they take a lot of money from them too. But when they propose this very just minor, vanilla, obvious kind of rule, of, hey, how about you just, like, you can't lie to them and you can't tell them it's a good investment when it's not and you can't, you have to disclose any financial conflicts of interest. How about instead of that, no. They, that, even that can't get passed. That can't get passed. They can't get it passed to say, hey, you have to do what's in the best interest of your clients. When they're coming to you for financial advice. Congress says no, they're allowed to give you bad financial advice and pretend it's good. I don't care what the fuck you are. I don't care if you're a centrist, a conservative, a fucking far-right conservative, a Tea Party person, whatever. You're far left. Whatever the fuck you are, whatever you consider yourself, it doesn't matter. We can all look at this and go, that is some bullshit. So this is why we all need to come together, and we all need to try to get money out of politics. We need to try to get clean elections by law, namely by constitutional amendment. Because unless and until we get that, this is never going to end. The furthest left kind of politician you're going to get is a Hillary Clinton, is a Barack Obama, is a Bill Clinton, and they're center-right, pro-corporatist, pro-establishment. So, 
We're never going to get real change unless we get the money out of the system because we can't even get Congress to agree that financial advisors and experts can't rip you the fuck off. They've legalized ripping you the fuck off. In no other field can somebody do that. If a car salesman sells you a car and pretends it's good, but it's a fucking lemon, we have literally lemon laws, which say, what, you can't do that. You sold him this fucking thing and the tires are bald and the fucking engine's sputtering and it doesn't work. You gotta fix that, bro. You can't just sell it like that and pretend it's good. That's not true. You fucking lied. That's fraud. You gotta fix it. You have to fix it. Financial advice? Nope. You do what you want because you fucking bought and own the government. So you get whatever you want. No more, bitch. It's over. We're on to your fucking games, and we're going to fight back, and eventually we're going to win.